baseball season. He is the first base coach for the New York Mets. And in addition to coaching today's players, he is paving the way for tomorrow's black coaches. And sports reporter Tina Wynn talked to Coach Kirby about making an impact on minority coaches. And Tina, the lack of minority coaches is still an issue. Yeah, they definitely are. Diversity remains a big problem when it comes to coaching major league sports like football and baseball. Former Las Vegas 51 star and current Mets first base coach Wayne Kirby is well aware of how he's representing people of color while leaving his own stamp on the game. Every ballpark I go to, they're like, oh, they go Coach Curb, Curb, he's around. I can hear his voice, I can hear his voice, but it's, it's a humbling voice, it's a happy voice, and um, a joyful voice. Dating back to his days on the Las Vegas 51s, Wayne Kirby's voice is hard to mistake. Same goes for his love of teaching. And I want people to, to come up to me like they, you know, young coaches, take hey, Curb, how you do this, how you do that, and, and, and give the wisdom back. And um, being a teacher, being a teacher, for me, it doesn't matter what color I am, as long as I'm giving back and helping someone else achieve their goal. Out of 30 teams in Major League Baseball, only two teams have managers who are black. Kirby takes pride in what he represents. What is it like to be a person of color coaching in the MLB? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I mean, I, I, I know both. I know on both sides. I was with the Dodgers in 90. 96 when I was the only black guy on the, on the, on, on the team. I remember going into uh, Houston and Derek Bell called, was yelling, Jackie, Jackie. I'm like, who is he talking to? And he said, you. <laughs> you know, Jackie Robinson on the Dodgers. So it didn't bother me. You know, it's, it's playing baseball. As Kirby heads into his 11th season coaching in the majors, he acknowledges the challenges that still come with being a person of color in the game. You know, it's a white-black issue sometimes in baseball, sometimes in football, and, you know, and, and throughout, throughout life, throughout sports. It ain't going away. It ain't going away. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we like to do something, but we like to put our part in it. And um, I think I put my part into it every day by helping whoever needs help. It's a full circle moment for Kirby as he finished his playing days with the Mets and now he finds himself back on the coaching staff. We'd also like to mention that his daughter Cabria Kirby is one of our producers here at Channel 13. She always misses him when he leaves for the season, but she'll be busy trying to convert everyone around here to, of course, become Mets fans. Uh, Trisha and Abel. Yeah, you don't have to convert me. 